Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my review of Blue Spring Ride Episode 11. Now, I don't know if this series is going to go for 12 or 13 episodes. Um, I'm guessing 12. So, if it's 12, then this is the end of the series. It's going to end next week. Next Monday. Okay. And I'm super psyched for it. It seems like it could end next week. Simply because of what happened in this episode. Like, uh, Ko and... Uh, Ko and Fut... They're not... Futaba? Yeah. Fut okay. Episode 11, I almost forgot her name. Ko and Futaba are getting really close as of this episode. Like, they really are. Okay. So it seems like it definitely could end next week. Okay. But either way, it's coming to an end soon. And this episode pens down 10 out of 10 best episode in the series thus far. It's going to be really hard to top this for the finale. Okay. And the purpose of the finale is not only to wrap up a finale of a series, not only to wrap everything up nicely, but also to and provide some sort of closure, but also to, I, I feel, surpass every, all, the rest of the series all combined together in just one episode. And it's going to be really difficult to do that. For, uh, well, it's difficult to do that for anyone, but any, any series, but in terms of emotions, it's going to be really difficult to do for it to surpass just this episode alone, okay? Because this episode was so fucking sad. Like, the first part of the episode alone, it was like learning about Ko's past with his mother, that he found out that his mother was going to die in six months from uh, some sort of cancer. I forget what cancer the doctor said she had, and it was at the terminal stages. He was basically told flat out that in six months his mother would die, but he constantly kept trying to keep it from her, okay? But she could obviously tell that he was hiding something, and eventually she learned from the doctor, and his brother found out. And Co, and Co blames it on himself, because he kept thinking, you know, what if... What if I wasn't studying as hard, trying to get into college and everything? Would I be, have been able to notice how much pain that my mother was in and whatnot? And he's constantly blaming himself. Even to this day, he blames himself. Okay. And the end of the episode was really good with that as well. Because it helped Futaba just to realize how much he's suffering, how much he's blaming this on, on himself. And really, Futaba's trying her hardest to, to make... Uh, co open up to her, okay. And by the end of the episode, I think it's actually working, too. It took a while, but I think it's actually working by the end of the episode. The and the pacing and build up for it is so fucking amazing. One thing I thought was kind of funny is that the middle of the episode was pure comedy. Like I don't see how you go from tragedy to comedy to not quite tragedy, but still kind of sad. At the end, I and so fucking quickly. I don't see how you do that, okay? But yeah, I thought it was kind of funny, and the comedy parts I, in the episode I thought worked really well as well. They were really funny, so yeah. But get damn, this episode was just so sad, like. And I and it's definitely like Ko and Futaba are definitely getting closer together, which is good, and I, I really feel that if next week's the well, there better be a fucking kiss by the end of this series. If they're not, I'm going to be pissed. But next week, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the finale because there was so much plot progression in this episode. I mean, we learn more about Ko's past, you know, about his mother dying of cancer and that he blamed himself and everything, and even to this day he does. All right, we got Futaba to get a lot closer to him, which were two major things in the plot that we needed to get drawn and we did she's not completely in yet but she's definitely getting there so i feel that next week could definitely be the finale but again i don't know this series could be 13 episodes long for all i know okay i really don't know but either way though fantastic episode okay like the feels i i just got ran over by the fucking field train like it ran me over from behind and then it put itself in reverse and ran me over again. Okay. <laughs> like, god damn. Anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you after, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.